welcome to our very first 2018 shout outs. It's going to be a long one, so go ahead, grab some popcorn, put your feet up, get settled in, and get relaxed because here we go. <laughs> Let's start off with welcoming all the new people and welcoming back some of the people that we've missed for a while. Aww. Julia Rosa Silva, welcome back, we've missed you. Ruby Pierce, welcome back, we've missed you. Jess Lucero, welcome back, we've missed you. Sissy Wise, welcome back, we've missed you. Michelle Barkman, welcome to the neighborhood. She has a channel. Please make sure you go by and check her out. Gina Polinchek, welcome back. We've missed you. Petra Terhara, welcome back. We've missed you. Emily Vaughn, welcome back. We've missed you. Curry Severick, welcome back. We've missed you. Shelby's Cray Cray Girl, welcome to the neighborhood. Please go by and check out their channel. They have a channel as well. Elizabeth Childs, welcome back. We've missed you. Barbara Dragonflies, welcome back. We've missed you. Amy Elizabeth, welcome to the neighborhood. She has a channel. Please go by and check it out. Maria's Life, welcome to the neighborhood. She is blind and she does tech speech or speech tech. I'm not sure how she words it, but she has a channel. Please go by and check her out. Susie Valentine Real Estate Agency, or agent, Southern California. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. We may be calling you, but she has a channel as well, guys. So if anybody's looking for a house here in Southern California, go by and check out her channel. The Psycho Uncle Show is now called, is now called Cinema Madness. So please go by and check out Cinnamon Madness. He's got a channel. Gilroy family, welcome to the neighborhood. Please go by and check out their channel. Ruby Pierce, welcome back. We've missed you. Rebecca Tompkins, welcome to the neighborhood. Please go by and check out her channel. Amanda Nichols, welcome back. We've missed you. Hope all is well. Blake Anders, welcome to the neighborhood. Shalene TV H, welcome back. We've missed you, and you guys definitely need to go by and check out her channel. Amber Sanders, she has a channel I didn't know about. Please go by and check out her channel. Jacob Thibault, welcome to the neighborhood. He has a channel. Please go by and check out his channel. Raising Wild Cub vlog. Welcome to the neighborhood. Please go by and check out their channel. Monica Allen. Welcome to the neighborhood. L. Robinson. Welcome to the neighborhood. They have a channel. Please go by and check them out. Paris Family Vlogs. They have a well, welcome to the neighborhood. They have a channel. Please go by and check them out. And Kevin's got a little bit of information about them. Yeah, I've been actually following Antonio Paris on Twitter for a couple of years now. Um, you may know the name, you may not know the name, but he's a, a, um, a teacher in Florida, and he's the one who discovered what the big wow was. And those of you who are in the know know what that is. Otherwise, look it up. Just look up Antonio Paris Wow and you'll figure that one out. And they've got, they're kind of in the same boat as everybody else right now. Um, um, they, they're a small YouTube, family YouTube uh, vlog, uh, channel, and they're about to get uh, cut out by YouTube. So go and check them out. Okay, and shout out to Casey, my niece, and she has a new YouTube channel called uh, get lippy, get sassy. Go by and check that out. She's selling lip products and um, she could really use some support. So make sure you guys go by and check her channel out. 
So, there are two channels right now that we are really, really trying to help. Well, two plus one of our own. Um, YouTube has changed some of their formatting, and one of the things they've changed is you have to have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours per month, I guess, or per... Yeah. I, I don't know the exact... But they're trying to cut everybody out, all yeah, the small guys. They're trying... It's really going to hurt the small YouTubers. Mm -hmm. So, the neighbors, this channel, is safe. However, our PIN channel, our Paranormal Investigations channel, needs subscribers. So, if anybody here is not subscribed to our PIN channel... Even if you don't watch, if you're not interested in that kind of stuff, if you could please just go over and subscribe to it so that we can save that channel, we would greatly appreciate it. Two other channels that we are really, really trying to help right now is My Uploaded Life, Jonah. He does live streaming every day at 2 o'clock California time. I don't know what time that is wherever you are, but if you can get in there and be part of the live streaming, his very interesting things that's going on. Tomorrow we're doing a live stream about his dogs. Might be kind of fun for everybody. Talk about all your animals. So if anybody from our community goes over there and becomes part of the live stream, I'm entering their names in to win a drawing or into a drawing to win one of my colorings, one of your choosing. So the more times you go over until he's done with the vlogging, which is going to be February 20th, the more chances you have to win. So, please, everybody, go show some support. If you can't make it to the live, stream, live streaming videos, just go watch some of their videos for me. Help them save their channel. The other channel we're really trying to save, help save is Delta Knight Vlogs. Um, he just recently... Um, this was his first Christmas since his father passed back in October, but he made a Christmas theme, theme vlog. He wants everybody to go and check that out. So go to his channel, check out his Christmas theme vlog, and um, he's got a lot of interesting stuff on his channel. So please go over, subscribe, watch some of his videos, help support his channel so we can try and save his channel. If we can't save it, at least keep watching so that eventually he will be able to get his channel back. So, if you guys could do that for me, um, those three video, those three accounts are PIN, My Uploaded Life, and Delta Night Vlogs. We would greatly appreciate it. Um, the Christmas card coloring um, with Valerie. I extended that till January 31st. So, anybody who was participating in the coloring a Christmas card with Valerie. Please, if you want to still participate in that, finish coloring your card and send us a picture of that so your name can go in for the drawing to win a prize. And I'm not saying what that prize is. So, please get those finished colorings, put pictures over to us so we can get a winner for that prize. So, do that, do that, do that, do that. <laughs> This is what you okay. get for waiting so long. I know. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. Um, in other news, <laughs> Abyss 92882, his grandmother was sick two weeks ago. We hope she's feeling better now. Um, Jerry Colburn, two weeks ago, was back in the hospital. Her platelets were low. Um, she was only in Monday through Thursday with pneumonia and an infection in her blood. She's home for now, but for how long, we don't know. Uh, Shaleen TBH had her wisdom teeth removed. I know a lot of people have come down with this flu. I had it. It's miserable. Trust me, I know. I hope everybody out there is staying healthy, or if you are sick, I hope you're you know, doing everything the doctor tells you to do and that you are getting better. Um, Sissy Wise, happy birthday to your hubby on December 28th. Terry Johnson, happy birthday, January 15th. 
my sister Karina, also happy birthday, January 15th. Debbie Morgan's son, happy 40th birthday, December 28th. Tanya Longley, happy birthday, January 12th. Emily Vaughn got married last October. Congratulations. And then she got sick. No one knew with, with, with what, but she is doing a lot better now. Congrats on the wedding, though. I hope uh, you're having a wonderful newlywed year. Kyle Mullen being 24. Congratulations. He also got married and became the stepfather of two boys. Abyss92882, happy 30th birthday on January 30th. And Susie Q57 and Jenskin. Jensen, I, we never know how to say your Jensen name. Jensen KSM. Um, they asked about how I sharpen my pencils. I have two electric pencil sharpeners and I have a handheld pencil sharpener. This is my handheld one. Um, but I really like my oh, this new electric one that Kevin got me here. Hold on, I'll get it over here. No, I can't. <laughs> um, it's, it's, a, it's a... Stanley Bostitch. Stanley Bostitch. I love it. He had to do some adjustments to it because I, I tend to get a little rough with them. Um, we have a video about that further down. Um, check that out if you want. But those are the two pencil sharpeners I use. The pencils that I use are Prisma. Uh, Ashley Nicole Woodless and um, Fiber Faber Castell. And but with your pencils, with the situation that you guys are having with your pencils, where they keep breaking, if you put them in the microwave for what? How long did we? I I test because but you know ten seconds, fifteen seconds. Yeah. It depends on your microwave. And it depends on how many you're putting in there at a time too. Yeah. So, but basically they're all cracked throughout the pencil, and you want to get them to weld back together. Right. So you put them in the microwave, and you're melting it, and it'll weld back together, so you won't have that the lead keep breaking. So um, that's what you can do. So there goes that question. Oh, and Dave's birthday was last Oh, week. that's right. Happy birthday hey, to Dave. Dave. And his brother's birthday is today. Today, yes. To Brian, you've, uh, he's been on a couple of our blogs. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, before I get into the question I asked very last, um, we'd like to just um, give a little shout out, a little prayer, a little blessing, some good vibes, um, whatever you feel however you feel to to express it to all the disasters and all the people that have suffered survived lost people throughout 2017 um, due to the hurricanes the fires the floods the earthquakes the tsunamis the monsoons the mudslides and the terrorist attacks up into not mentioning the shooting out in Kentucky just this past week um, I know a lot of people are still suffering from a lot of these disasters and our thoughts and prayers go out to each and every one of you and we only wish you the best for 2018 okay <sighs> so everybody, anybody need to take a restroom break intermission okay, okay intermission's over Okay, my question last time was, what was your favorite Christmas gift? What is the best Christmas gift you ever received? Okay, we had Tanya Longley said she got a Wii U from her brother Nick. I want a Wii at some point because... A Wii? I do, I want a Wii. Wii U? I don't know. Would you Wii? <laughs> I just want, because... They have a lot of good exercising things on that. And I'd really like to have one hooked up in the front room so I could do some exercising. Okay. Jess Lucero got an Xbox One a few years ago, but he really likes giving cool presents and seeing looks on their faces rather than receiving them. I think that was a pretty good answer. 
Debbie Morgan got the best gift of all. Three days after Christmas, she gave son, birth to her son, Jeremy. Gift of life. Don't forget, always have a birthday party, not just a Christmas <laughs> for the kid. Uh, Terry got a wet red Schwinn bike when she was 10. Whee. Jen Skin SM got earphones, the, blo the block it out, the soundproof, what are they called? Are the Beats? The, I don't know, they're the block it out one, the mm -hmm. sound soundproof headphones. Sound yeah, something like that. I would love a pair of those. Jerry Colburn got a TV. Sherry Rayner got a plane ticket home to Orlando, Florida when she was living in North Carolina to spend Christmas and New Year's with the family. What I wouldn't have given to spend one more Christmas with my dad. Yeah, that's a special gift. And Bambi. Best Christmas gift ever is Christopher coming home after a month's long stay at the hospital. That's a pretty cool Christmas gift. Okay, and my question for the next shout outs, which is going to be no longer than two weeks away, no longer than two weeks away. What movie could you watch over and over again without getting tired of it? And now I'm going to turn it over to Kevin. It's about time. <laughs> I told you it was going to be a long one. Jeez. And if anybody remembers what my question was so long ago, which was over a month ago that we you know, had one of these, it was about Black Christmas in 1974, not the remake, but the original, 1974 Black Christmas. And the question was, what was the original name of the movie? And the answer is, Stop Me. It was also... Stop! Okay. It was also at one time called Silent Night, Evil Night. And then when it was showed on TV, it was called Stranger in the House because nobody wanted to use Black Christmas because of its negative, you know, deep, dark Christmas thing. Those who got that correct were Bambi S, Tanya Longley, Terry Johnson, and the, uh, the Abyss 92882. Woohoo! Congratulations to all of you. Okay. There's a neat new movie coming out, uh, if it's not out already, called Winchester. Wow! And this is about a real house and real person named Sarah Winchester. And we've been to the house. It's up in San Jose. And it's got um, 161 rooms in it. So this, this is a ghost story based on a real person and a real place. Here's the question, and I think you're going to have trouble finding the answer to it. Because we heard this uh, answer this question at the Winchester house. How many rooms did it originally have when she bought it? Uh-huh. Can I tell a little story about that? Sure, we have plenty of time. We went on a tour while we were there. And how old was Megan? Like 12? 12, 11, 12. And we're going on a tour of the house and the house is all discombobulated. Okay? And the tour guide takes us to this one room and he's telling us about this room and there's a big old map on the wall. And the tour guide asks, can anybody point on the map to where we are? And Megan says, we're right here. And she was right. So there you have it guys. There's the shout outs. The first shout outs of 2017 or 2018. <laughs> It was the last one for 2017. It's the first one for 2018. So, we hope you enjoyed everything. If I forgot anybody, I am very, very sorry. Please let me know, and we will pick you up on the next shout-outs, which will be in one to two weeks max. I swear. I promise. One to two weeks max. Yes, dear. Anyway, you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it wasn't for all of you. We love you all so very, very much. And we will see you all again on the next episode of... Pigs in Space! Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. We love you all.